So June 15th, 2016, there was an attempted coup d'etat in Turkey. It, the biggest cities that were impacted were the capital city of Ankara and the major city of Istanbul. Several military leaders in the country attempted to overthrow the president, assassinate him and his prime minister, and take over the country. Turkey has actually had a history of coup d'etats, where the military, when they feel like the government isn't doing as good as they should, overthrow their government and establish a new one. This one, however, did not work. The president managed to escape the place where he was, where they were planning to kill him. He, on FaceTime on national news, called the Turkish people to take back their country. Where the Turkish people came out to the streets, came out to the place where the soldiers were, and they were forced to surrender. So Turkey, in a sense, took back its own country, which was pretty incredible in a way. Afterwards, there was a state of emergency declared, which is natural after an attempted overthrow of the government. And after that, the first presidency in the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles made the decision to reassign 15 of us, volunteers, elders, who were serving in Turkey to the, German, the Berlin, Germany mission, where Germany is also a place where they have a lot of Turkish people. So just two weeks after the coup had happened, we flew up to Germany. We stayed there for two months. Um, we had varied experiences. Germany is a beautiful country. I wish I would have had a little more time to spend in there just because there's so much to see, so much to experience there. It's a completely other country and culture. Um, the reactions were a little different. At first, I've, I felt, no, just, you know, it's, it's always a shock and a little sad when you have to be reassigned to a different mission. But then I knew it was temporary. I knew that whatever the Lord wanted would happen. So if he wanted us back in Turkey, we would be back there. If he wanted us in Germany for a few months, that would be fine too. And I knew that the, pro the Lord spoke through his prophet. And this decision had come from the first presidency in the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, his authorized servants on the earth, to make these decisions, holding the keys of the gathering of their own missionary work. And so a lot of us prayed for confirmation, exercised our faith, and went forth. We did our best in Germany that we could in two months, and we came back with a lot of work to do. Two months apparently is a big time, especially when we take away the elders in such a in a country where the church is so young and very fragile, a lot of the members stepped up and grew a lot. A lot of people came back, you know, who had been less active for various reasons, somehow just showed up again. Or even previous investigators that had decided to stop meeting with us just popped up again. A lot of stuff happened while we were gone. And so the Lord took a situation that seemed a little chaotic or unsure and made the best out of it. It was really cool to see how it had happened and a really faith-building experience.